This morning, the Ukraine Air Force said another missile attack by Russia was underway just hours after wave after wave of airstrikes on Ukraine overnight. At least 18 people were killed, dozens more injured in Russia's biggest air attack since the war began. Ukrainian officials say Russia fired over 150 missiles and drones on all regions from all directions, hitting Lviv in the west, Kiev in the capital, Kharkiv in the north, and Zaporizhia and Odessa in the south. Now, Ukraine says they were able to shoot down most of the missiles and drones, but CNN's Helena Linz is in Kyiv this morning. And Helena, you've, as I understand this, witnessed some of these attacks there. So tell us, what are you seeing? Hello, Danny. Yes, if in the morning we were in an area where a business building uh, was hit, it was not being used, so partly destroyed, but uh, no people inside. Also from the other side of the street, there was a metro station that was also uh, uh, hit. Uh, it was uh, The main entrance was closed. People could still access it from another side, and the metro was already uh, working. Right now, we are not very far from uh, that area, but actually in a place where there's uh, some warehouses, and this warehouse be behind me was actually hit during this attack. Let me just uh, take you inside and show you what actually uh, the, the destruction that is inside because, uh, you know, the, the warehouse was uh, hit, the, uh, it caught fire. Uh, when we arrived here, the smoke was still very visible from the outside. Right now, uh, we can still see smoke in the inside. Uh, the smell is actually also strong. Um, and for some time we couldn't access uh, the inside of uh, the warehouse because firefighters were still trying uh, to uh, stabilize uh, so nothing could actually uh, fall. Uh, the, we now have permission to enter and as you can see, uh, you know, uh, there is the structure is uh, completely uh, destroyed. The roof of the warehouse is totally destroyed and we are actually walking most of the time on uh, shattered uh, glasses on fragments of the warehouse but also of the equipment that was inside i was speaking with the uh, general manager of uh, the, the the company the, which is actually a german company working in ukraine and he was telling me there is only electrotechnical equipment here there's no weapons uh, and it's now mostly destroyed so warehouse is destroyed you'll have to look for a new one uh, what is inside they're trying to understand whether or not they can still recover something and now estimating also the costs of the destruction um, the, uh, the the company is still gonna continue working in ukraine that's at least what he was telling me but you know it's very difficult right now uh, to recover from all uh, this loss there was no one inside the warehouse when the attack happened it was in the early hours in the morning but uh, speaking with the firefighters at least uh, I mean, two people uh, asked for uh, to be assisted uh, by the emergency services because uh, this, this was the, the main warehouse that was hit, but there's also other buildings around. So two people needed to be assisted by uh, the emergency services. As I was telling you, firefighters are uh, still here. Uh, works is still being uh, uh, done uh, in this um, uh, uh, warehouse where there's still a lot of smoke uh, and the smell is really strong. Uh, but as, as you were saying, not only Kiev was hit, uh, which was very unexpected, you know, sirens have been going off in the capital for uh, uh, almost every day, but it was not, uh, no one was expecting this size of destruction, but also other cities in Ukraine. And this shows the scale of the attack of uh, last night and this morning. Uh, Helena, just the scale of that destruction, uh, pretty incomprehensible. Please stay safe and thank you for bringing us that report. Appreciate it. Yeah, what image is there? The still smoldering wreckage of the airstrikes that are still going on in parts of that country.